Michigan's Senate race is considered fertile ground for an upset by Republicans this fall. Tonight, correspondent Matt Finn tells us why the GOP thinks it has a good shot to flip that seat. Welcome again. Three-term Democratic I'm Senator Debbie, Debbie Stabenow might be facing the race of her life. A pool of Republican candidates are hoping to carry the momentum of President Trump's 2016 win in the Wolverine state into the midterms. When I go around to churches and I ask people, they, they really, if they know her, they, they really can't say so what they've Michigan gotten for their vote in the past the 20 years. Good to see you again. See you. At a meet and greet outside of Detroit, combat veteran and businessman John James shakes hands with voters he hopes will help him unseat Stabenow. I was given the honor. To James, a West Point graduate and pilot, says he felt compelled to run for office after returning to Michigan from overseas. There were areas in Pontiac. In Flint, in Detroit, areas of home uh, that looked worse than the combat zone I was flying in. The veteran supports the Trump agenda and says his background gives him a unique perspective. Understanding national security, how to keep Americans safe, because I've done it before. Hi, 61 year old Detroit businessman and Harvard graduate Sandy Pensler is another political newcomer throwing his hat into the ring to defeat Stabenow. His focus is on growing the economy and creating jobs. I think I. My business skills can be very useful in Washington. I've turned around large companies and helped advise some of the largest in the world. Nice to meet you. Pensler says he has personality differences with President Trump, but he praises the president for what he calls a masterful job of dealing with China and for caring about Michigan's middle class. Like he's putting America first. I want to put Michigan first. To make the decision a little more difficult, Michigan has one of the most diverse agricultural economies in the country, and Stabenow is a ranking member on the Senate Ag Committee. So these newcomers challenging her not only have to convince voters to vote for someone with no political experience, but also to sacrifice Stabenow's position that's so vital to this state's economy. Brett? Matt Finn in Michigan tonight. Matt, thank you. Up next